Well, here we go. As Paul Sack is good news. We're here at the New York Emmys, the New York chapter of the Emmy, uh, and you're the president. I am the executive director of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Gonzalez. And she looks great, and she looks great every year, so I was asking her, how come you look so great? You know, I think the key to looking great is being happy. You know, when, you, when you're really content in your daily life, I think it's kind of effortless, because you kind of, you know, use it as your frame of reference to make all your decisions, so when things kind of go awry, it doesn't matter. You're so happy. You look good. You feel good. <laughs> now, the industry you're in is a industry that makes people happy as well, Generally, right? Yes. I mean, television is, uh, people are at home, they see nice things happening, uh, uh, sometimes not so nice, but most of the time entertaining, interesting, newsworthy. I mean, you're in an industry that helps uh, helps to put a nice perspective on life. Yes, I agree with that. And t- the power of television is sort of twofold. There's the, the whole entertainment aspect, so people can tune in and experience different music or dance, literature kind of things come to life on the screen. We also go for, you know, information. So educational programming or even just knowing what's happening, you know, in your communities is also, you know, something that's really good. Something new this year going on, 2014? We've got a, a whole lineup of great presenters. And yeah, this year oh we're, we're very excited to be honoring Chuck Scarborough oh. uh, for, on his 40th anniversary, which is terrific. 40 years, you know, at NBC for New York. It's nice that we're able to do it on the actual anniversary. He just, you know, um, sort of celebrated that anniversary with the station, so I think that's lovely. And, and Chuck is such a do-gooder in the community. Has always been, I think, probably what has helped him last so long in the industry. Uh, you know, from his hometown to the Southampton Hospital. You know, we've interviewed Chuck many times over the years because he's everywhere where good news is happening, where people are caring about each other. He's really 